Hey, what's up? It is Thaikusk. I recorded a video yesterday, but I'm kind of not feeling confident about it right now, so I'm just going to record a video right now and talk to you dudes. Um, I'm going to probably um, put clips of the video. Actually, no. I think I'm going to just do what I was planning on doing in that video right now without the game. That actually might work better. Anyway, so I'm sorry I've been gone for a while. Um, I had like a massive stomach bug and then just life got in the way and I kind of, you know, that's the story of my life though. Anyways, I'm just gonna go get the controller and then I'm gonna talk to you dudes about whatever, I guess. I know it's an ASMR hangout with, hangout with Kooks stream friend simulator. <laughs> I think I would be the worst friend simulator out there, but um, I guess it works for the moment. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get the controller. Alright, I don't have any incredible information to talk about. Um, I have like a Sega Genesis emulator in my room and um, I was playing Road Rush uh, yesterday for an ASMR video but you know in that, in that game you like punch people and stuff so I didn't really want to <laughs> upload me going oh I'm gonna punch everyone <laughs> Um, because, you know, some people might be like, oh, violence, so I didn't really want to upload that. Even though, like, it's just 16-bit figures punching each other on bikes. I mean, that's just like, they're 16-bit. It's not very graphic, <laughs> but, you know, just the way I was explaining it, I guess. <laughs> Even though I was just saying punching people, but that's, that's just me. Uh, yeah, and that got me thinking about, I, you know, making a 2006 roleplay, um, because I did do that once. Um, this controller is on, isn't it? I think I should get the one that isn't on. Oof, alright. So basically, um, I actually did this, like, the... I guess a 2006 roleplay once, but it was more of a crap post. I'll link it down below. Um, basically, I played a character and I was um, playing Mr. Balls. Uh, or, not, it's not the worst game I ever played. Like, I don't even play video games, but like, I, I guess I'm just into like retro aesthetic and I think I kind of want to talk about that. I just have a really weird aesthetic, but um, basically, um, yeah, I was playing Mr. Balls in that video, which is only for the emulator. It's not an actual Sega Genesis game, it's just, just, just a thing. And it is so weird. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But, um, yeah. Let's see. So yeah, my aesthetic. I want to talk about my aesthetic for a second because it's been brought to my attention. I have a lot of retro stuff in it. Um, I like posted a, a mood board in some random Discord server, and they were like, "Damn, that's you have a thing for old computers," <laughs> and like I, I don't know why. Um, I don't know why this is the case. <laughs> like these old computers had plants in them though. Like. Literally, it is very specific. I need like an old computer monitor and there's just like a plant in it. Like that is aesthetic to me. I don't understand why. Um, I also have plants on my shirt. I mean, they're like flowers. It is pretty aesthetic. Uh, I had to dress up nice today and I don't really feel like getting dressed into normal clothing now. So I'm just gonna wear this all day. I'm going to Hawaii. It's going to be a fun time. Um, <laughs> I, I wish I was going to Hawaii, but that, that sounds expensive. Um, because, well, I guess it, yeah, it does to an extent. Like, at the moment it does. Uh, but yeah, my aesthetic. It's just old computer monitors with plants in them. 
And I guess like, I just, that's just, that's just my aesthetic, man. Um, when I was, um, and also, you know, I was playing Road Rash and that got me thinking about, you know, <laughs> memes I've made with people I've talked to because I figured out what dadbot was for Discord and whenever I press the, well, whenever I typed D embarrass, which basically embarrasses you, I always, I always got, I still play Mario 64. <laughs> this is what started the meme of me playing like old racing games. Um, that, you know, it's just, well, meme, it's more of an inside joke, but <laughs> with like a five other people, well, not five, but like probably like two other people, um, it's not, uh, it's not even a meme, it, it's, it, it just exists, but we, um, <laughs> that day I decided to down, like, buy Mario Kart 64 because I got, you know, the night that I was, um, typing Dean Barris, uh, mainly because I just wanted to play Mario Kart again. Like, I- whenever I got angry when I was younger, I just played Mario Kart. <laughs> like, that was my main, um, go-to. And obviously my original Wii broke, and that's what I was using to play Mario Kart. So I was just more like a woo! And you know, just- it's basically it. It was- it was a good anger thing. You know, just flopping a controller around. Obviously, I can't do that with any other racing game. <laughs> um, well, maybe I could. I don't know. But... So, I was, so, I'm just so used to doing that. So, I was like, okay, this is going to be a really crap experience. Playing <laughs> Mario 64. <laughs> but I actually had a lot of fun. Um, I'm not gonna lie. It is, um... <laughs> it's an alright game when you're waiting for your cat, because that's why I bought it. I needed to pass time while I was waiting for my cat to get in the house. Oh, and here is a cat. Oh no, you're you're going on camera. You are going on camera, my baby. Okay. He is not going on camera. And that isn't even the cat that I call baby, so. Also, why do I call my cat baby? Well, it's because Whenever I hold him, he just wants to be held like a baby. That one? That one's a dog. That hisses. <laughs> I... <laughs> See, this is what I mean. This is like, probably the worst um, friend simulator. But, it, you know what? I, I hope you're getting some relaxation out of my cats fighting each other. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, just inside jokes are really fun. Um, I am okay at Mario 64. I'm the okayest Mario 64 player out there, and <laughs> I guess that's life. So I kind of found it funny when I found like a Road Rash 2 cartridge laying around. I'm like, hey, I want to see if it works still because this, this thing's old as frick. And I put it in and it worked and I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna play this. And I had a good time. Um, and I was like, crap, this is a meme. This has transcended into my real life. That was the moment when I realized it. Not, not the point where I bought Mario 64, but playing Road Rash. I'm like, the old racing games is the meme of May for me. And if you don't know, I'm recording this in May. So, um, you know, I'm just, it's May. I am playing some old games uh, and it's become a meme in my circle. Too many memes. I got too many memes. Too too many memes. I can't make a parody for that. But um, yeah. If, if Speaking of that song, Too Many Friends, if I had to assign a random song to each instinctual variant, uh, SOSP, I think that would be Too Many Friends or SOSX, I'm not sure. Sosh, definitely Sosh would be Too Many Friends by Placebo. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what the others would be. Um, I need to think. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what SX would be. Like, I am, 
non-SX user. So that's why I just went, ooh, I don't I don't know what this would be. I think um I think SP would be like intro by SX and no SX, no, XX. The intro by the SX, XX. You see just like too many X's. Um too many X's. Uh oh boy. I but you you get what I mean. Um the intro intro by the XX because there's just there's no words and it's it's just there <laughs> and it was played everywhere it's just an instrumental that belonged on the radio so I think SP would be that you know there's not really much to it um, and it's pretty sustainable it's pretty solid for the time <laughs> um, but SX let's see I don't know I want to say closer to the edge if I'm thinking like 2011, but I am not really a 30 seconds to Mars fan anymore. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to do the thunk. I don't know, some of Montreal song. That's what I think. Um, I have Why Does Relic a Realist Mood on vinyl, I think. I think that whole album is just so splines. <laughs> Even though not all SX users are so blind, I just think that it's just so out there that I would consider it SX at the moment. <laughs> um, recently, I've been like looking through my old playlist and I found like the wolf. No, we will commit wolf murder. And you see, I didn't know what Poppy the performer was until recently. Oh my god, are my cats fighting? <laughs> So I didn't know what Poppy the Performer was until recently. Oh my god, if you fight, I'm going- I swear to bejesus, I am- I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, so yeah, Poppy the Performer, I didn't know what it was, but it was something. And I just randomly found it, and I watched most of it already. I think I'm like an hour and 30 minutes in to the whole series, and the whole series is like 2 hours and 44 minutes. So basically, why am I watching it? That's probably what you're asking. It just gives me nostalgia, okay? It reminds me of the time when I was like 13 and didn't know what the internet was. <laughs> no, I knew what the internet was, but you know, I was just 13, I was just chilling around and I found salad fingers. And I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna get nightmares. Ooh, this is so spooky, you know? Just kind of reminds me of that. And also like last year when I found out what Bobby Yeah was and got creeped out by that. <laughs> So even though I'm like not really creeped out by it, I'm just like, I remember the times when there was more mystery out there, I guess, and things were more fun to find on the internet, and I just thought that was pretty fun to just watch that. Because, you know, I think I've just seen so much, and I kind of don't want to like, you know, see the, the worst out there, like, what's it? you know, the the dark shit, so to say. The dark shiitake mushrooms. I don't really know how else to explain it. Um, so. That's basically it. But yeah, We Will Commit Wolf Murder is basically about Poppy. The performer, not, not that Poppy. Poppy the performer. And basically, it is... It's definitely about it. Like I don't, don't know what else to tell you. Like just listen to the song. <laughs> like it's literally like you're the only human I believe in, and that's probably um, a code Koda Mono. Don't know his name. You know the guy with the mask. Yeah, it's probably him talking to like Poppy, like talking about Poppy, and then you know there's Poppy, <laughs> who is like big mood. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you know, Poppy is big mood, and you know, he, Kodomono, is that what his name is? I don't know what his name is, and I'm probably butchering it, because I'm crap at names, but Kodomono's just like, yo, dude, like, I don't understand your logic, because you know, Poppy doesn't have logic, like, I would type him as an ESFP seven wing eight, uh, SXSO. You know, just everything in, like, not a logical version of that. Because obviously ESFPs can be logical and, like, you know, 7 wing 8s obviously can because it's just a head type and 
as sex was close. And you know, all of it can be logical, but the thing is, like, I think Poppy is the unhealthy version of that. <laughs> so he's just like all over the place. He's like flamboyant and just great. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I have someone of appreciation for Poppy because he is everything I am not. Um, but yet again, I'm like, why are you killing people and like slicing yourself open? Okay, you, you need to calm down, but I find him to be a very interesting character. If I were a character from Poppy though, I would be the frog. <laughs> I would not want to be the frog because inflation, but uh, that, that ain't my kink. But, um, you know, I'm just, it's just not happening. Like, it just... It's also supposed to signify death. It, it shows weird. Um, but yeah, you know, that became a meme after I found it. And um, and then I was hearing, we will commit wolf murder. And I'm like, damn, this is, this is literally Poppy. And I found like an AMV of we're going to commit wolf murder. And it was to Poppy. And then I, and then I found one for Hollow Moon by AWOL Nation, and AWOL Nation's pretty lit. I haven't heard them in a while, though. And, um, you know, I I really enjoyed um, their, their first album that I can't pronounce, Mega, Megatholic Symphony. I'm bad with names. You know, I, ever since then, I was like, damn, these guys are pretty lit. Um, I remember seeing them live, because I wanted to see them live. And um, right before, like, before I died, they were, like, one of the bands I wanted to see live, and I did with my favorite band, Paris, and Fall Out Boy. That was a pretty lovely experience. I went to Connecticut. Um, basically, <laughs> what happened was uh, the lead singer, Aaron, he, um, you know, he was singing, singing the sing song, you know, the, the, the sale, the meme. Uh, he um, didn't sing one line and we all sang it with him. Well, we all sang it thinking we were going to sing it with him, but he just said, nope, I'm not singing that. And you know what line that was? Maybe I should keel myself. You know, I'm trying to be ad friendly, but yet again, I said shiitake mushroom and kink. You know, kink can mean curly. I know hair terms. So you know what? <laughs> But yeah, it was it was a good time. I I was like, what the frick? But after I, you know, said maybe I should kill myself <laughs> while I was while I was at an A Wall Nation concert, but it was it was a good time. Ten out of ten. I, I'm thinking about Twitch streaming next week, so you know what? It, it doesn't matter if I'm at friendly. Like just like I'm not going to make YouTube videos for that long. <laughs> But basically, you know, like I said, maybe I should keel myself was the line. I felt really awful after that, but, and also really what? I can, you can just hear the whole room just go, what? When, well, after we all sang that line. So, you know, when, after that line was sung, he was like, blame it on my ADD, baby. And we were just like, we were not saying that. We were just like, what just happened? <laughs> you could just hear the whole room. <laughs> it was so great. <laughs> like, now it's great. Back then it really wasn't. But just remembering that is just like, that was the biggest troll moment. And, you know, I saw them live when Hollow Moon came out. You know, Run was an album. So, yeah, um, that's why I mentioned that. And you know, there is a, there is um, an episode where, what's it, Poppy <laughs> throws the moon at the like little circus area they're at. <laughs> and just, I found it so fitting. I was just like, whoa, dude, it, life imitates art. Well, art imitates art. And, um, <laughs> can't. Anyways, I, I hope you had fun hanging out with me before you went to sleep or when you were relaxing. Because honestly, I think I'm getting a little too carried away and I should get ready to leave the house. I hope my cats don't kill each other. They probably aren't. 
And I said, keel, is keel a fish? What is a keel? I don't know. Uh, I'm stupid. Anyways, I'm gonna give you some floor sliding ASMR. I hope that was relaxing. <laughs> and until the next time, it is your favorite shit taki mushroom post. Vaikusk. Uh, hug a tree. Uh, comment down below um, if you're if you're watching still and you're still not sleeping. Uh, that you will go to sleep soon, or that you will um, do the relaxation thing soon. Um, I hope this helped. If it didn't, I'm sorry. And um, I, I hope you had some fun discussing some memes that are old and um, stuff like that. So, yeah. <laughs>